Virgo, hey, what's going on? How are you? My name is Antoine. I want to welcome you or welcome you back to the House of Luminance. We're here to go over your love messages for the end of February of 2023. So um, let's just jump right on in, okay? And so while I'm doing that, while I'm shuffling, thank you guys so much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you all. I really do appreciate it. I really do value it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, uh, this energy is going to be in all placements of Virgo, including the Virgo lover, if you're here in the house. All right. So feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, share, and also comment down below on how everything is going for you. Okay. Energies for Virgo, February 2023. End of. What's going on for Virgo? in love okay so virgo ooh, kisses coming right off in the central energy we got kisses smooch smooch kiss kiss all right and then under the deck <laughs> we have loyalty okay i like this energy together kiss kiss and loyalty um automatically virgo there's um I'm feeling the energy of, uh, well, I guess the word that is coming to my mind is com comfortability, comfortability level, okay? Um, there's an energy here that allows you to be very, actually very affectionate, Virgo, and very... Um, present with your partner in a particular way once you know that it's something that you want to be loyal to as well as you having that loyalty back from that person okay so i guess there is just a certain level of vulnerability that begins to open up within you um when you know that somebody's got your back in the way that you got theirs um and so it just allows you to just be a little bit more playful and flirty and like kissy and stuff like that and maybe not so rigid and perfectionist when it comes to certain things um virgos because you know virgos a lot of the times you guys are my perfectionists of the zodiac sign i am virgo strong in uh mars and venus so i understand perfectionism a lot of the times, especially when it comes to love and the person that you're dealing with, their standards, right, that you think that a person should live up to. Um, and then there's just a certain level of care that you want. In this case, I see a certain level of care that you want in a person uh, before you decide to open up and, and give that same vulnerability. And look, right under the deck before I even get the shuffling is the Knight of Cups. So there's a sense of openness here, Virgo, that I don't think that many of you have really expressed or felt before. Uh, but there's a sense of openness in wanting to share um, <clears throat> your uh, your energies with someone in that way. Um, and it's just interesting that maybe it's coming to you at a time where <clears throat> someone is saying, hey, Virgo has actually proved their loyalty to me. Let me express something back to Virgo. Let me give Virgo this or, you know, um, or let me give Virgo a sign of, oh, okay, I've understood what you've done for me. And so this is, you know, uh, for that. It could be something happening in that way, Virgo, where you're doing it or they're doing it for you. But I love it. I love this energy. Okay. So we have the page of swords here coming out right of the crown of your message. So an openness and getting to know this person on a on another level or just openness just to get to know this person in general. OK, we have the knight of uh, swords here coming toward the back of your message here um, at the base of your message here. You have a judgment card. So what I'm feeling here so far is like you've been living in one way or you've been operating in one particular way here, Virgo. And then now what's happening here is you're starting to look at someone or you're starting to look at love in general in a whole nother way based off maybe an experience that you are going through. 
Um, and it could be the experience that you're going through has been lessons in loyalty. Okay. And so now it's maybe making you take a look at yourself, whatever you're going through right now, maybe making you take a look at your situations and you're saying, okay, no, who, who has been loyal to me now? And even still, that's who I'm going to give my affections to. That's who I'm going to dote on, whether it's romantic or platonic. You understand, you know, you love on your friends too, you know, when, you know, you love your people. Okay. We have the eight of, ooh, the eight of, um, Pinnacles coming out here, uh, you know, to bring your message forward in time. I feel like what's happening here for many of you, um, Virgo, is that, you know, you're, you're opening up in such a way, you're becoming less perfectionist in such a way when it comes to love that it allows you to take that perfectionist energy and you're allowed you're actually putting it towards something um constructive okay and useful for your growth and for your advancement excuse me for your advancement just as an individual okay then you know Whoever I'm talking to, if you're dealing with somebody, they could be the, the very person that may even be giving you the inspiration or giving you the push to, you know, better yourself. Just getting to know them on a deeper level. You're like, dang, this person is awesome. You know, and so then it's like you kind of try to like you, you realize that, you know, something like them is what you've been missing. Mm. Yeah. It's divinely, this is divinely guided, okay? This person could show up to be uh, truly like a divine love partner in your life. You just have to be able to notice them. You have to be able to see them. It feels like there's someone in your life that you can probably think about that has been just truly loyal to you. Truly loyal to you, Virgo. Okay? And it could be someone platonic. More that's probably be the only person that I'm talking about because I don't think anybody else would turn into a romantic situation <laughs> other than a platonic one. But I do sense that there was some sort of either platonic situation where it's like you looked at this person and said, "Hey, you know what? Why have you been so loyal to to, to me? Why have you been, you know, so devoted?" And you may find out is because, you know, their emotions may run a little bit deeper. Remember, we did have that Knight of Cups show up earlier. So that person just, you know, that, that person's emotions is, is running deeper than you really know. But they, I, guess, I guess maybe they played it cool. But now y'all are in a position to where it's like once it's realized and once you have the judgment card telling you, like, listen, there's something you might want to pay attention to right here. It's like, oh, you know, and it's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful, that lover's energy. So let's go ahead and continue to clarify. The next card under the lovers was the um, Empress. So the Empress. So I feel like this has the potential to really grow into something that um, is quite beautiful. Very, very loyal partner, connected energy. I see public displays of affection also. Um, okay, we have the Seven of Cups for you, Virgo. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Six of Wands here. And then rounding it out, we have the Four of Wands, okay? And now under the deck, we have your energy. We have the Hermit. And the hermit comes out as your energy. Yeah, Virgo, I definitely just feel like you're in a moment now where, you know, you've done a lot of your own shadow work. You've done a lot of the dark night of the soul. You've done a lot of sitting yourself, sitting with yourself. You may have done a lot of isolation. You found that inner self within you. And now you're ready to come out and now you're ready to express that. OK, but you're also looking for someone who's also willing to be loyal and committed to the situation. The thing is, is that I don't think that you're going to find this in anybody new, not in anybody that you haven't met already. You understand? This is not going to be in any new person. This is probably going to be 
in someone that you've either dealt with before in a situation and maybe the situation broke up because not because of loyalty, but maybe because of something else. There may be a chance of reconciliation there with a lot of honest communication. However, it doesn't necessarily have to be that. This could also be just a friendship that was platonic at first, or maybe just someone that you knew from the past in a platonic way that you're getting to know in a new light. Okay. And there's a, just a lot of success and a lot of happiness here. This person feels like home. It's maybe, maybe somebody from your hometown or maybe uh, somebody that just has a home type feel about them, or they remind you of your hometown if they're not from there. Okay. But this is a divinely guided union that I definitely feel like you're going to be a lot willing to just be less perfectionist in that realm of things. And you'll channel that energy into more productive things as an independent person in your life. But when it comes to this situation, as it comes in, all you need to feel is that comfortable level. Like I spoke about in the beginning, all you need to feel is just comfortable enough to know that this person's got my back. And once you know that this person's got your back, it's like that, you know, it's just, you just, it's like a, the, the dam just bursts and nothing pours out, but just pure vulnerability and emotion and just willingness to just to just be and be loved okay <laughs> i don't know uh, <laughs> let me know virgo what's going on in the comment box below but thank you so much again for your time feel free to hit that like button share and subscribe and i'll see you all next month bye